Hello, my name is Joost and today I will show you how to make a hoodie just like this one. This is the um, Homeboy hoodie which is a free pattern on my website. Before we get started let's have a look at what we're going to need and what the pattern looks like and I'll also give you some info on the fabric. This is the fabric that I bought to make this hoodie. Um, I've actually got two colors. I bought this um, teal that teal teal ish um, knit these kind of knits they are kind of soft and fuzzy on the inside and they are smooth uh, on, the, on the outside um, it's really warm and nice and comfortable to wear I'm gonna use this for the body and then I have this dark gray knit which is actually white on the inside as you can see I'm gonna use that for the sleeves and for the hood so this will be sleeves and hood and then finally I have Bought this for the ribbing, so on the wrists and on your um, waist that will put in some ribbing. This is a sort of a knit fabric that uh, has these tiny little ribs and that um, stretches very well. By all means, go have a look around and feel and get something that's soft and, and nice and comfortable because that's the kind of garment we're making. Um, you don't need much to make this, you need the basics, um, you know, sewing machine and scissors and thread and needles and all that sort of stuff. If you have a serger um, or an overlock, as it's called in Europe, um, that's great, that's useful. Um, it's not absolutely needed, you can get by without a serger and I won't actually be using it much. Um, and then let's have a look at the pattern before we dive in the different pattern pieces. The pattern is very much dominated by this big um, sleeve pattern. Um, sleeve pattern piece, it's a raglan sleeve, so it's sort of the sleeve and a part of the body. Um, good to know is that the side with the double notches, that is the back and single notch is the front. Um, for this pattern piece, as for all pattern pieces, they might look slightly different uh, with you than they do with me because we are not the same size and everybody is different, so the pattern will be different. However, if things look radically different, maybe something went wrong with the measuring and it's good to maybe reach out to me and say, hey, is this okay before you start cutting up fabric or even the paper, actually even before you print it. Um, don't hesitate to contact me, I'm always happy to have a quick look. This is the back, which you cut on the fold, this straight line here. And looks very similar to the front, which is this part, right? Which you also cut on the front. So you cut one front, one back on the fold, and two sleeves. This is the hood. Actually, it's the side of the hood. Um, so you get the hood, and then this overlapping piece here at the front. We're gonna cut four of these because it's the side of the hood. So we're gonna have two on each side of the hood, but we want the hood to be finished on the inside. So we're gonna place an extra two on the inside. This is why you need four of these. Um, this is the pocket bag that goes on the front. We only need one of those and it comes with a little bit of pocket facing. We need two of these. Apart from that there's a few rectangular pieces. Um, there's like the, the ribbing for the wrists and the hem. There's the center of the hood. Um, but all of these are marked on the pattern like cut a rectangle this much by this much. There's no point printing and cutting them out. I mean, everybody can cut a rectangle, so we shouldn't be killing trees for that. Um, with that out of the way, let's start cutting up some fabric. We're going to do front and back from this fabric. We have to cut this on the fold, so fold it double like that. Make sure you respect the grain line. And then you put in the fold, put a bit of weight on it. As you can see, I'm not marking it, because with a rotary cutter you can just follow the edge of the paper. There you go. Um, pocket bag. Climbing tree. There we go. And the pocket facing this tiny thing. We need two of these. 
there's a green line line on it so respect that next up is our sleeve which i'll be making from this dark gray this is a double layer right because we need two sleeves middle line should be equidistant from the edge of your fabric and you just cut it out we need to cut out four hoods two times two Now for our hood center we're going to need a rectangular strip of fabric. To finish the neck more cleanly we're going to put in some lining. Um, this will be printed on your pattern. It's another rectangular so there will just be instructions this long by 5 cm wide. Now for ribbing. Uh, ribbing is typically a tubular knit which means that it's a knit fabric. Um, that is a knit in a tube, like some sort of massive sock. And you want to use the ribbing in this way. Okay, let's summarize what we've got. We have one back. Sorry, that was the front. We have one back which looks very much like the front, but the neck opening on the front is bigger. We have one pocket back two times pocket facing. We have four hoods, two raglan sleeves. These are the biggest parts. We've got two hood centers, which is just a rectangular piece of fabric. And now we've got our ribbing. We have two of these for the wrists. And then we got this piece and this that we will be joining together and, that, and uh, at the right length. For the waistband that's all we need these are all the pattern pieces now it's time we uh make a hoodie